The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. The confocal resonator that we've looked at has many uses, and we'll illustrate one of them right now. So far, the laser frequency going into the cavity was, was only one frequency. We only had one frequency coming out of the laser because we selected it by means of the polarizer. Since the laser oscillates at several frequencies, or at least two, at different polarizations, then again, by rotating the polarizer, I can select the other frequency. So the cavity can be used as a, as a spectrum analyzer. So if we look onto the scope, as I rotate the polarizer, you see that I can bring in other resonances. And these are not associated with transverse modes of the, of the cavity, but they are associated with the frequencies of the laser. So here we are. Here's when the laser is operating single frequency going into the cavity. Now I rotate the polarizer and I admit the other frequencies from the laser, which are at different polarizations. So in this way, the, the confocal resonator can be used as a spectrum analyzer. Now in practice, you have to be careful in selecting the free spectral range of the, of the resonator, of the confocal cavity, so that there's no confusion about the separations in the frequencies of the, of the light source. So here we are again. Here is when the laser single frequency going to the resonator. Here we have many frequencies. And if we had selected the spectral range correctly, we would be able to measure exactly the spacing between the modes of, of the laser. So then, in, uh, in conclusion, these set, the set of demonstrations, we looked at the plane parallel cavity. We have looked at uh, uh, the uh, condition under which the modes superimpose. It was very touchy, very touchy alignment with the plane parallel cavity. Then we looked at the cavity with curved mirrors. And we saw lots of transverse modes if we don't have the length of the resonator adjusted suitably. We also found that when the length of the resonator was equal to the radius of curvature of the mirrors in this case, the confocal condition, we found that the modes coalesced into two resonances. And finally, we showed how such a confocal resonator can be used to analyze the spectrum of a, uh, of a light source like this laser. <laughs>